And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last uh, d deck of the day. Today we're doing an aggro day. We're playing a whole bunch of aggro decks. Um, hasn't been going the best for us, but we're playing, we're saving the best deck for last. This is uh, Bannerman Zed, a very, very good deck. Uh, we're just, you know, being aggressive with our Demacia cards and with Vanguard Bannerman and splashing Ionia for Zed. Um, a great card to pump up with Bannerman um, and everything. But, you know, we have Lucian, Senna, a whole bunch of aggressive stuff in here. Um, yeah, this is just, just a really good quality deck. All right, so let's let's uh, play it, try it out, and we are going to rank back up because we've fallen down today. Bannerman said, "Got you to masters, nice. Yeah, this is a this is a great deck. Got you to gold. There you go. So yeah, this is this is definitely a real good one. It's a good rank up deck too. You know, it like plays plays games pretty quickly. Uh, doesn't have a great late game, but hopefully hits hard enough and to not need it." I'm playing one deny as well. Oh, this is this is what I think is actually kind of my my toughest matchup. Man, we they just keep pairing us against really tough matchups. I actually kind of need that. So I'm I'm mulliganing a lot differently than what I normally would. Normally we wouldn't keep the five drops, right? Like. Um, but, but, like, they're Bannerman also. Like, we're playing a Bannerman mirror. And when you play, like, mirror matches, it's going to be the person that goes bigger is going to be the person that has success. However, that that's really difficult for us to do because I don't have Garen. I don't have Scythria. They're going to have... They have Garen. They have Scythria. Um, they have a lot of protection for those cards. This is just... This is a bad matchup. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot today. We have not, like... <laughs> the one deck I don't want to face is a bigger Demacia deck. So anyway, since since we have to try to go bigger, it's not going to be one by two ones. And if that's the case... Um, the Swiftwing Lancer is very good in this matchup. Because it trades... You know, trades with, like, Garen... Or, you know, like something else that's pretty big. You know, so it, it trades up. Or like it trades like around the same area and then also creates an elite for us. So the Lancer is quite good. For this matchup. I don't know why I didn't attack with the Bannerman. I definitely should have. Because I would trade Bannerman with either of these. I guess I was focused on just doing that. Because if they have another Bannerman, then that makes mine look even worse. Swiftwing Lancer is pretty awesome. Definitely should have attacked that 4-4 four four the previous turn. You can probably see why this is a bad matchup.
trade away one and get one elite and see what, what we get. That is awesome. That's a very good elite to grab. Discipline and steel. There's a long path to get you. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. How do we beat a four Demacia now? I still have six other cards plus the four Demacia. I could use Lucian. And maybe maybe a leveled up Lucian does something. Who knows what? All these blocks are good. Don't back down. Don't think that's a good repose. But they could just have a lot more repose. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Protector is a good draw for us, but you can just tell from from the beginning we just don't. It's not a matchup that we have much chance in. I was hoping that you know I did not want to cast the deny on that thing yet. I wanted to uh, you know play both of these and like deny that the next turn. Such a good card. Got your back. Their attack actually isn't very good. I mean, it's not perfect. It's still very good, but it's not perfect. Buddy. 
need you to win this for me, buddy. Do we play Zed first? Maybe not. Maybe so. This is one of my least favorite cards. I've ranted about this card many times. The only thing that card possibly does is win Demacia Mirrors, but their decks are already very good in Demacia Mirrors. There's no reason to put this card in your deck. I have, I have this in zero Demacia decks. against aggro it's a nine drop it's horrible against control it's again a nine drop Defend our banner. it's only good in demacia mid-range mirror matches so it's a card that's like you're just throwing a card in your deck that's only good like you know 15 20 percent of the games that you play and the other 80 85 percent of the games it's just a horrible card It's not a good decision, it's just whoever whoever plays the like these Demacia decks, the people copy the deck list, somebody always just puts one in there, and so everybody just copies one bright steel formation and just puts it in their deck. Why I attack? Because I have no other options. Not attacking is an automatic loss. I protect my own. Attacking gave me the opportunity for my opponent to misplay. They did not. It was a very, it would have been very difficult for them to misplay. But I mean, I, I I do lose a good amount of Demacia Mirrors because I don't have Bright Seal Formation, and then they just have a Bright Seal Formation, and it's like, yeah, you you win these 15% 15, 15 of games that you not you know have it in your deck and then draw it against Demacia, and probably gonna draw it and have it cost you a lot of other games though. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that Bright Seal's getting a small nerf next patch. It's it's functionally the same thing. It just doesn't start with a barrier and then give itself another barrier. So only if you don't if you have Shen in play, it's not two barriers for Shen. That's That's not gonna change the outcomes of any games. There's not gonna be a single game like where that second barrier would have won you the game. But the Bright Steel formation isn't good enough to win you the game anymore. So 
So I don't I don't think I don't even really consider that being a nerf <clears throat> for Bright Seal Formation. It it does clear up the language for it and does it doesn't start with the barrier. But I, I don't think it's a nerf at all. It's the same card. Hey Caleb, GG's. Um, I was I was ranting about um, Bright Steel Formation at the end of our match. That's why I, I was playing slowly. Sorry about that. Um, I don't think the card's any good at all. That's not true. I think the card is absolutely amazing in, in Demacia Mirror matches, and so it wins you those. But uh, I think it's very bad against aggro, very bad against control. And it's, it's very bad against uh, a very large percentage of the, the decks you play against. Break their spirit and their soul. Um. <clears throat> the patch is not is not official. It was just released. Um, on, uh, it was just like it was just like a, a Reddit post about it. Basically, I saw it. Um, I saw it from Mogwai's YouTube channel earlier today. Earlier today, I was like, "What? I wonder if Mogwai, like, what's he up to?" And then, and then he had a post about it. Um, but it's so it's basically a leak. If if the leak is correct. It will be buffs to a delicious challenge. Oh, fearsome. Close my eyes, make it fair. It will be buffs to Callista. Katarina, Yasuo, some of those those champions that aren't played very much. Bearman nerf, where it only grants other allies, not itself, plus one plus one. And um and frenzied skitter turning into a three two instead of a three three. Which is pretty interesting. I wasn't. I wasn't sure that they were going to be doing. I was actually w would not have been surprised at all if they were not doing a patch this time. All right. So you take you. You take you. You take you. But then we trade here. Yuck. Um. But of course, also. Take you, gas, and then these trade, or I just do this, and then that thing doesn't block. And then keep a three-two instead of a two-two. That's fine. Do you think Timo needs bigger stats, or is it fine to leave him as a meme a champion? You won't get past me. I think it's fine to leave him as a meme champion. Oh, um, being a one-mana champion is really tricky. It's it's a very great. slippery slope there as a one-mana champion. You start pumping him up any, you know, maybe he gets too good, strength. kind of thing. Like that's. There's a lot of variance with one mana champions of do you have them turn one, like do you have them in your opening hand where you get to play at turn one and get to attack with it at turn one, because those games are so much different from 
do draw your one mana champion turn four turn five it's a it's a huge difference and so like the they they have a lot of variants uh where like the games that you have them on turn one and you get to play them and attack with them on turn one if it's if it's like a pretty good size you know like if it's even bigger it, those games would be do not um, waver I won't back down. potentially very problematic can you stomach this probably just shouldn't take any any chances of dying I just need to uh, protect my life total as much as possible so I, I think Teemo as 1-1 one, one is, is just fine that's pretty good that's a good draw I was definitely going to be challenging the crowd favorite, not letting the crowd favorite attack me again with that overwhelm. That's another crowd favorite. I'm in trouble. It's Draven time. So we'll have our Laurent Protégé fight that. Oh, it's on. Spelled it. A bite to cook it. Um. I guess we kind of need to fight Katarina as well. Maybe not. We can block Katarina, now Katarina doesn't strike. doing this we can take the Katarina I think I'd still pump up the protege to just get that extra point of, of toughness on the protege yeah that play worked out pretty well Uh, I don't... well... I assume that she's just gonna die so she doesn't recall, right? Like, she re recalls when she strikes because she has the quick attack. Oh, wow. Wow. Vision? Wow. Look at that. Well, um, I can have the War Chefs fight a 2-1 Spiderling to keep Bright Steel Protector alive. So basically, I, that would just turn single combat into a Bright Steel Protector. I can do that. Is that, would I rather have a Bright Steel Protector in play or a single combat in hand? This is going to be a 3-3. Not sure. 
I think the single combat. Or sorry, sorry, I think the protector. You know, like don't they don't have anything out here, they're at 15. Like probably just want the the three two body more than the single combat in hand. It's a close call though. It's a close call. Wow. My opponent is ripping some spells over here. That's a great one. I guess we're trying to level up Lucian. They can they can use this uh, spinning combat to kill my protege if they want. <clears throat> okay, I guess not. I guess they don't want to. They must have had some other good spell that they drew. Oh, yeah, they sure did. They're on fire. My last two draws were good. We drew our first two champions, Illusion and Zed. Where's my axe? Do not fear the shrouded path. Okay, ready. This will not take long. All right, well, I drew two, you know, two great cards in a row too. Um, no, I don't, I don't think aggro is underpowered as an archetype in the game. No, I don't think so. The Living Shadow will level up Lucian. Only the I'll bring them peace. Yeah, they have Elise Draven and Katarina. It's probably like a one of cat. We've seen they've played two Dravens. Definitely glad I went straight to combat. That would have been a nightmare if I would have tried to play the protector first and then they would have skittered and these would have been smaller. I have to block both of these because uh, they're both lethal because of spinning axe. I should have switched these two. Like, if they just drew like Whirling Death, do I die? No, because that levels up to just being a 4-4. Four, four. And so then we take two Overwhelm. Yeah, that was, an, that was a, another good top deck for us. Our last three have been good. We would rather have saved Zed than save Lucian. One banner, one where Lucian lets me attack right here. Oh, 
Oh, that's true. Whirling, yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't spinning axe and whirling death, so they couldn't, they couldn't level up the Draven with whirling death because they'd have to spinning axe first. Alright, GG's. Yeah, I definitely like saving the Lucian. Uh, getting that attack, making them chump block with Draven. We're going back in time. We were in 1979, now we're back to 1891. Going back in time. Are we two and one? What was our other win? We lost the Demacia Mirror. No, I think it was just that. No, I think we've only just played the, the two. I think we just lost the Demacia Mirror and then that. Oh, come on. Seriously, I want to play anything but the Demacia Mirror. Anything else. Ugh. Just this is our worst matchup. That's a good trade for us. That's definitely a good trade for us. Um, trading my one drop in single combat for their war chefs and prismatic barrier. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. Dang, we needed that hit. Protege killing my Lucian would have been rough. Just want to take their protege. I should be attacking with Lucian last. This is not good form. Should we attack with Lucian last? Looks like they may have single combat themselves, which would be a bummer. Yep, that's a bummer. Earlier, we had a good trade. That one, I mean, still, we we just lost Lucian and two toughness on our Swiftwing Lancer, and they lost a Swiftwing Lancer and a Laurent Protégé and a single combat. So they did lose quite a bit. I'm what nightmares fear. Wow, that's a, that's a bold statement. I'm what nightmares fear? Is that like is that on the business card? In the name of our land. I am glad there's no judgment. You know, not eight mana for judgment. I'm definitely glad about that. them down to 10. 
I have eight mana. Takes ten. All right, hey, we won the Bannerman Rear. We had we had some good trades in there. Our hand was awesome, but we had a couple of turns of really good trades, and we ended up winning. GGS, beat our worst matchup. Because we got to end the game before turn nine, and that's not easy to do. Thresh Jinx. I like it. I like it. Thresh Jinx. I need to play some more Thresh Jinx. Some more Thresh Jinx. Looking for Zed and Lucian. Those are our good cards. Our best cards. Okay, yeah, you left for like two seconds after Lancer killed Lucian. Uh, then my next Lancer tried to... They played a Garen the next turn, so then I tried to fight their Garen with, with my Lancer. Um, oh, yeah. Counterfeit, counterfeit copies Jinx is, is a combo. See, we need to be able to talk. I need to, like, tell my opponent to send me their deck list. So I can play it. No. I mean, it, their deck doesn't seem very good, but it seems pretty awesome. Uh, my all right. So, Avocado asks, favorite champion so far? Not necessarily by win rate, but which do you enjoy slamming on board the most? Uh, that's definitely Teemo for me. Teemo is my favorite champion. Just because I, I think puff caps are really fun. Giving the opponent tons and tons of puff caps. <clears throat> my record with Teemo is giving my opponent 680 puff caps. And they had certain lethal and, and uh, like coming back. And um, I need them to draw like 17 puff caps because uh, they were going to kill me. And so I gave, they had 680. What are we playing against? Oh, Karma Ez. I don't see that deck too much. And so they had, you know, it was certain doom. Um, <clears throat> and uh, they drew, I need them to draw 17 out of the 680. And we did it. They drew 43 puff caps. <laughs> That's my record. 43. There is a game in that video on YouTube. I can link it to you.
It was the last time we played Team of Wayfinder. Here we go. And it was game four. Watch game game four. It was an awesome game too. It, it really was. That was a great game. So I'm attacking this turn. So I want to play Lucian. Push back the I guess so. I could see saving Lucian. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Got your back. For those of y'all watching this later on YouTube that want to see that game that I'm that I'm talking about, it's Timo Wayfinder, a new puff cap record, is what I titled the the video is from April 6th. If you want to go back in on my videos, uh, so that's the 11th today, so you know five days ago. All right, so we got Protector Bannerman next turn. They cannot hide. My shield is yours. It was forty two, not forty three. Oh, dang. It's already, it's already starting to be exaggerated. You know how that's just that's just what happens with stories over time, they just get exaggerated. It's 42, not 43. I guess. You cannot escape. Be really nice to have these available. That would be a great card to deny. That would have been a great card to deny. But I like where we're at. We are really ahead on board. We have a bunch of good good at spells. Like where we're at. That denying that because that's two Ezreal triggers, that's drawing a card. Get that out of here. Even though I know I could have just played it back to back. Um now if I play Squire then I am tapped out. I think I keep Radiant Strike single combat available. Uh, Radiant Strike does not save that. So, Squire it is. Ready to do my part. Um, yeah, I think I think the Scout Champion will be pretty good. I think, yes, uh, is yours. she is small for, for, for a 5-mana champion, but... Um, being able to bring along a 2-1 with it, I think it's pretty nice. You know, Silverwing Vanguard is a good card that's two 2-1 challengers. Like, that's a good card, and that's at four mana. And so that's at... Um, so I'm down to two. So at, at five mana, getting the champion and a 2-1 two, a two challenger... Um, and all the things the champion has. I think it's going to be a good card. You kind of wish that, that she didn't cost 5 mana for Demacia, though, because 5 mana with Demacia... Um, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of competition there. But I think she's similar in power to Garen, honestly. Some people think that Garen is just much better, but I, I don't. I think that she's uh, similar to Garen and, and uh, 
you know, getting two bodies is nice. Like, getting two bodies is really good with Bannerman. You know, like, that's that's something that you definitely want with Bannerman is the more the more bodies in play, the better. <laughs> yeah. Valentina says, Rally has such a high opportunity cost. It either wins me the game instantly or is a complete dud stranded in hand. Yep, that's, that's why I only play one Rally, like, in these decks. Um, I don't like playing two, three, because, yeah, there's... Uh, there's like against control decks you just never want it i also always mulligan relentless pursuit there's not a single matchup ever where i keep relentless pursuit in hand so if it's ever in my opener i mulligan it but it's it's something that's it's good you know you can draw it later and you can do uh you can win some games with it but you never want it in one of your first four cards because you need your first four cards to help you get ahead and this card does not help you get ahead and if you're not ahead, it does nothing. So it, it doesn't help you get ahead. And then if you're not ahead, it doesn't do anything. Um, or at least even, obviously, even or ahead. So, um, yeah, always, always mulligan this. And, I, and I, I'm and i just kind of resigned to playing one. You know, played two and three plenty of times, but I'm going to keep cutting them back. Play the one. Because, yeah, you, you never need to draw a second. You know, like, if you play the first one, that should propel you to winning the game. So you don't need to draw a second one. <clears throat> um, I mean, I think it depends on the deck. I mean, I think basically, you you know, with Quinn and Garen, I think that you'll be able to build around Quinn, and I think you'll be able to, you know, you can obviously just play Garen as just a, a strong uh, champion as well. Um, but I don't think it's, it's necessarily that you just always play Garen, you never play Quinn kind of thing. Um, I I don't think you'll really ever play a deck with two Fiora, two Quinn, two Garen. I think you would definitely play the three Fiora and then um, either play Quinn or Garen depending on what you have with your deck or like how you want to build it. Uh, but I don't think you would just play four of the five four or five mana champions and two three mana champions. I I don't think you would do that ever. Um. And yeah, that's true. That's true. If if she Sky says if, if she ends up underwhelming, then she could get buffed like Callista and Lux were. That's true. And looks like Callista's getting another buff. Um, just going back to only needing to see three allies die. Right now, Callista's at four allies. Looks like on Tuesday will be at three. Back to three. But anyway, yeah, this this deck is just just very solid, very consistent. Um, you know, just a good rank out deck. I think your tough as we as we talked about plenty. Your toughest matchups are the other Demacia decks that go bigger, that have Garens and Cythrias and and Bright Steel formation and go bigger than you. But that doesn't mean that that matchup's unwinnable. As we saw, if you can get out to be get out and uh, have an aggressive start and then get some good trades, uh, you can win. And that's what we did, the game that we won there. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's Bannerman Zed. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, feel free to leave a comment about the deck. Um, but yeah, this was aggro day today. Uh, we may do, like, control day tomorrow. Well, I guess tomorrow's Sunday. We usually do rank up Sundays where I play, like, a bunch of really good, uh, you know, like, tier one decks and and rank up so we may do that tomorrow um but yeah we'll, we'll have to see like pretty excited about monday to see if you know what what the new patch is and everything like that and then we're still trickling in more and more cards and we'll have a new set later this month hype about that all right but anyway that's it here for bannerman zed so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video